So lads, since we're at it, we may as well <laughs> grind down here and see what the crack is. Fuck out the way. You think you've seen it all until you see this? Holy shit. Look at this. Made a fella. Up. Boop. What's the jazz is made? Did you see this one? You think that one's bad? Let me actually show you this one now. Oh Jesus, you see that one there now, look. Right at the back of the seat. Oh yes. Look at that. Gorgeous. Alright lads, I just want to take a split second of your time there. Um, as you can see up here at the back, I got a JLD Auto Care banner. And they are now official sponsors of the channel. Um, Lads, go check them out. The link is in the description. And you're also going to get to see me at um, the Southside Motor Show down in Waterford next weekend. Um, that's going to be a truck and car show and stuff. It's absolutely incredible, guys. If you see me there, come on over and say hello. Come on over to the JLD Auto Care stand. You'll see me there promoting the lads as much as I can. Um, guys, thank you all very much for supporting the channel. Thank you all very much for checking it out. Um, I've got loads more in store, uh, just cracking on bit by bit and doing what I can. So uh, let's talk, let's talk, lads. More action. Get back into this forge. All right, lads. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut out this piece here, and we're gonna put in this brand new second-hand piece that I've got prepared. So I've already got the rust treatment done, and I want to just cut this out to that shape. So. Put it roughly up where it wants to go, and then I'm going to just roughly mark it out and cut it out bit by bit to try and uh, get the correct position of it. Of course, we're using the other marker. Mark that there. I think I've cut it there. So luckily for my knees, a friend of mine called Lobo and I just had to talk to him for a few minutes and here we go. Alright lads, so we got some of the quarter panel cut into pieces anyway. She's in fair rusty condition, so just as well we have this brand new second hand one. So what we'll do is we will clean up this little bit of rust here and then the return arch here. Let's clean up as much of the rust there as you can and we'll put some rust treatment on that before we weld it up. Um, I have this piece nearly ready to go in. It's sitting in very good shape here and along here to an extent of it's running off at the angle. It's not running at a 90 degree angle say off this. I'm using that as a reference point or so. I've got to just trim it here along this line here to raise it up that little bit to get it in line here. So. Just bit by bit, I'll trim off here, and um, yeah. Right, so I'll mark it up with my yellow marker pen. I'll just mark this up right, and I'm gonna just cut a little bit smaller. Now that I have a reasonably in position, I'm gonna cut this side of the yellow line so I keep a little bit of material just in case I need to trim off more pieces here and there 
just so I get a nice tight fit. But I'm not worried really around here too much at the minute because I want to get this pushed up into place, which will allow me to get my final marking over on this side. So with that being said, guys, let's get this cut off. Oh, you have a nice little chunk to cut off too with that. Juan Pablo Angel. Doctor in there, all right. Look at that crusty, rusty. Yeah, she's sitting nearly in place. I'll tell you, is that guys? Tap a tap a tap, -a. and it needs to come over a little bit, just like expected. And just like expected, boy. It's not sitting too bad, though. Not sitting bad. Good stuff. that side in a minute we'll cut off we'll cut off a chunk of this side and see how it goes then Alright lads, so this will be the first time I'd say is we'll see the rust converter going on. So it's deadly. I got got a wire brushed roughly. It says that you don't take all of the rust off it. Right, lads, so I want to just weld on this piece here. I want to weld on that so I have a little bit of a return to weld on to the panel that's going around here. So I have a cut and shaped reasonably good. Now, anybody that wants to watch welding it, watch it for a split second or so because I'm not going to record too much of it because uh, I don't want to blind people. It's going to go roughly there. Some oil of the primer on. 
Let that dry now and we will um, weld on that corner. So it's pretty much in place. I'm after letting the primer dry and everything, so I'm just gonna tack it in place and then weld all around it. This was in there. And you can see it was a little bit on the rusty side, so I just decided to cut it out. Get the new piece ready to go in. If I can get it out So I've got this piece to weld in. And I've got this thing going on here. So I've got to just weld these in. Where was the other one in there? Show you that one is pretty rusty. Yep. <coughs> so let's get the welding in these two little plates and we can finish grinding then and get some epoxy primer on this. What's going on lads? I might have messed up a little bit, um, but nonetheless we can sort it out. So I have a little piece here, the piece I have, where is it gone? So I have the piece here now. Um, I did cut the sill a little bit small, so i got to just extend it and uh, fill in the little holes. I wasn't expecting to put in this section here at all, um, but I should have really expected it to be fair. I was just not thinking. Um, but nonetheless, we can sort out with this here. So I have this little piece made up that goes there. But then as you can see, we have a little problem there. So I have this little piece to sort in there, like so. But what I'll do is, I'll weld in this one first. I'll weld in that and then I'll weld in this one over so let's get this all set up okay I have that clamped into place now so let's switch on the welder and uh, we'll tack it in place and then we'll attach this piece and we'll seamlessly weld it that you'd never even notice it
got this all welded up and it is kind of sort of ready now just to get some epoxy primer. I gotta just finish grinding down all of this red paint here and finish doing the door. But I have got some more going on in the back that I just want to show you. <laughs> that's that for this episode guys drop a comment down below and let me know what you think of the build so far join the patreon the link is in the bio don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button guys and hit that notification button it's going to be popping off like a no tomorrow guys catch us on the next one